Uh, we're losing coastal wetlands. They're just sinking, they're subsiding uh, into open water. We're not converting them to farmland or building homes on them. We're, we're, they're really disappearing. Louisiana is vanishing. What we're doing right now is we're building land. The second that sediment comes out of the end of the pipe, it's building beach and dunes. So we are restoring land that was lost to subsidence. There was once a beach here, that beach over time eroded and we're going back and we're restoring that beach. Well, and if you're interested in jobs, you can look around. This is a construction site. And this is heavy equipment doing real work out here and those are real jobs. Actually a project like this is a rather large project. These projects run around Construction costs can be around $30 million, pretty typically. I mean, beyond just the ecosystem restoration, the protection, just restoring our coast, uh, there's also huge economic benefits just to doing a project like this, just to designing and constructing a project like this. A large part of our work is coastal rest restoration projects like this, especially in Louisiana. Over the past years, we've had at least one big coastal restoration project, upwards of uh, $25 million projects. Keeps a lot of our people busy. On the dredge itself, we have 40 to 45 people. And then on the other end, on the island part, we have a large crew there. Mostly all of our supplies, uh, all the rope, cables, everything we use is mostly bought here in Louisiana. Yeah. There are a lot of companies at work. This money is going into the investment of the infrastructure here, but the people and the machinery that it takes to do this, uh, that's jobs for people. That's jobs for the people who supply the pipe, people who supply the food that these people have, that supply the, the housing that the people are down here working with. And it has a multiplier effect. It rolls over into the economy. We've just come up with our new 50-year coastal master plan, which looks out 50 years. We think realistically, we're gonna be able to get $50 billion over those 50 years. We have a plan that looks out and says, what can we do with that money? Where are we going with this? If we follow this plan scientifically, we've shown that we can not only slow the rate of land loss, we can stop it. And out about 30 years, we can start having a net gain in land. If we fail here, the nation fails. We lose our seafood industry. We lose our energy industry. We lose a unique culture and way of life. So there is a big return on investment for us locally in our local economy, but for the rest of the nation as well.